Hello, hello, my squidlings. It is Katie here, and today we're going to be unboxing something new on this channel. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Sketchbox for the month of July 2020. This is the premiere Sketchbox, and I'm really excited because I've never unboxed them, and I've seen a few, and I think they're kind of cool, so let's open it up and find out what's inside. So first off, we have a look at the art on the top of the box. This is art by Denise Wolverton at DL Wolverton. Um, and then, of course, if you get the sketch box and you want your art on the box, you can use the supplies and tag them. So, I have no idea what's inside, and I'm just ridiculously excited to open it up. Sometimes I spoil the boxes for myself because I can't wait anymore. But since this one was a little bit newer, I wanted to open it with you guys and have my first impression. All right, so we have some Sketchbox branded tissue paper, and I'm just gonna kind of pull out the stuff. All right, so watch an exclusive how-to video uh, using the contents of this box. Get sketchbox.com slash school. And this is the items on the other side of this. I wanna be surprised, but I'm gonna keep it on the side for reference. So first off, we have another card. Ooh, this is really pretty art. Oh, and uh, this is the featured artist. Nikolai Shaver um, just talks a little bit about what they're highlighting in the box. Again, I don't want to be spoiled, so I'm not going to read it. Okay, first off, ooh, okay, so we have some fluid cold press finish watercolor paper. I now have so much of this stuff. This is 4x6, 140 pound paper. It is glued on at least one side, I think. Yeah, it's glued on two sides. It's a watercolor block. This stuff is really thirsty paper, but it is nice, so I'm excited to have this. Next up, we have a set of four Pitt Artist Pins in Sepia. I was about to be kind of upset because I have a million of these, but I don't have them in this color, so you know what? I'm not upset. Here are the sizes for reference. There's S, F, M, and B, so they look really nice. We'll swatch them out in a minute. Then we have a Tombow Mono Drawing Pin in 05. Here's what the tip of that looks like. else oh I grabbed two things we'll, we'll go with the brush first we have a silver white number four round brush we also have a set of Creta color artist pencils in what looks like a black brown and a white oh okay but we have some walnut drawing ink this is interesting uh, so yeah, it's light, fast, water soluble. I'm excited. I wonder if it's like a walnutty color, so like a dark brown. That'll be interesting to see. I think the featured art makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> and then I think, oh, I think I missed something. Well, I didn't miss something, but we have a Sketchbox sticker. And then the last thing we have is a Copic Chow in E25, which it is nice because I don't actually have this color, so I'm really happy about that because usually when I get Copics, I get dupes. So yay for no dupes. And as far as I can tell on this card, that is everything in the box. This definitely has an overarching theme of brown, which I'm really excited to get different tones and colors because brown can be a really fun, versatile color. So I think it'll be really fun for me to go outside of my comfort zone because it's a color I don't typically use a lot of. Um, so I'm just really excited and I'll talk about my experiences using some of these supplies as I do the art. But yeah, I really hope you're interested in seeing this. Also, this box isn't being sponsored or anything. I mean, like, Sketchbox, if you want to send me boxes, like, I won't be upset, <laughs> but I bought this with my own money in case you're curious. So let's get into the supplies and make some art with them and swash them out and all that good stuff. On to my favorite part, which happens to be swatching the art supplies out. I don't know what it is about just swatching art supplies and having them all together in one spot. Uh, especially from an art box. I just, I love it and it's so fun and I get to kind of play with them and it's just, it's really nice to do a little bit of a brain dump. So, uh, yeah, I really like the supplies and I love the overall theme and I just, I love the color selection. So, today's art piece is going along with the Patreon theme of beach time and I thought it would be really fun to uh, draw this person who's maybe been beached or um, maybe she's a mermaid and she just gained her legs. I really don't know. You can create whatever story you want in your head, but 
I really liked this idea. I had sketched it uh, digitally and then I decided to kind of put pen to paper and, you know, make it <laughs> traditional. I had a lot of fun with this piece and it was really nice to work monochromatic and not have to think about all the different colors and where I'm going to put them. The only thing I really had to think about in this piece was value. And that is definitely something I need to work more on, but I am actually really happy with the way this piece turned out, and I think that I personally did a good job. There are some areas that I feel like I could have pushed a little darker. Um, there was one surprising thing about this. I want to talk about the art supplies. So with the art supplies, I was really surprised that that walnut ink wasn't darker. I guess the color walnut isn't always really dark whenever it's in art supplies, but for some reason, maybe it was because I saw it in that bottle, but it seemed really dark and it was really hard to actually get those darks. And once you get to a certain layer, um, if you add more to make it darker, it kind of gets a little... I don't even know how to explain it, like gloopy, and then it starts pulling up the layers from underneath because it is water soluble. So that was something I had to learn and grow with, <laughs> but I think that uh, I did okay. Like the only parts I really wanted to do that with anyway to make them really dark were her hair and the rocks. So I wasn't super upset that I couldn't make them any darker because it was just a couple parts anyway. So let me give you a bit of a price breakdown. So for the retail value of this box, I paid $35 and $5 shipping, so a total of $40 for this box. The retail value of this box, according to what they say, is $53.88, which really sounds great, but I did a little digging like I always do on like Blick or other websites, you can get them online. Again, like I always say, this does not account for tax and shipping, which can make the price a little more expensive, but the total actual value of this box comes out to $40.46, so I still got my money's worth, and I really liked the theme. I played with some supplies that I've never really used or different colors and stuff, so I thought that was really fun. Um, so overall, I'm pleasantly surprised that I, <laughs> I like this as much as I did, but I'm really happy. And I think I might go ahead and get Sketchbox for next month. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. I've really been loving getting art boxes and just kind of playing with them and challenging myself further with the art supplies that are in them. And I've been having a lot of fun doing that. So, <laughs> But one of the most fun parts in this piece was creating the texture of the ocean um, or sea or lake or whatever you want this to be. <laughs> the water, basically. Um, it was really relaxing. Usually I get very um, bored very quickly with tedious tasks. I feel like every time I hear an artist talk about how, oh, this was so therapeutic, and it, I look at it and I shudder to myself because line work and detail drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm super impatient, so I just like getting that stuff done and out of the way, but the water was actually really fun. I just kind of resigned myself to taking my time with it and to not ju just to get out of my head and just to make some lines and honestly it was really nice so yeah but uh, I darkened up the sky a little bit because I thought it was a little bit too light but I didn't darken it up completely because I didn't want it to blend into the sea I just kind of wanted the top part to be a little darker so I just kind of blended from there um, and then at this point in the video, when I'm coloring her skin, I was like, oh shoot, I have other art supplies besides fine liners and ink I can use. So I decided to let that dry and then go ahead and start using the other art supplies, which are again really nice. Of course, Copics. We all know I like Copics. I don't use them as much on this channel anymore. Watercolor kind of stole my heart, but, uh, you know, I, I love them and they were really great in this piece. I did cheat a little bit. I grabbed my, um, colorless blender to kind of blend some of the Copic out because it was very, like, dark up against the skin and I didn't want a cell shady look. I wanted a little bit of a cell shady look, I suppose, but not like a ton. So I ended up going over it with, uh, the colorless blender just to kind of blend it out a little bit. And then for the darkest shadows, like on the skin, I went ahead and used those pastels. I used them a little bit in the rocks to deepen the rocks up because I figure if I can't darken it with the ink, I'll do it with the black pencil. And then that white pencil was absolutely fantastic for adding white highlights. Um, of course, I normally use a gel pen, but it was great for adding 
just really soft highlights and subtle like transitions and I really appreciated that so I think overall they curated a really great box I feel like this box was thoughtful and I feel like um, they they just took a lot of thought into what went well together like everything played super well together at least everything that I tested out so I'm just really happy with that and I made a piece that I'm really happy with so yeah if you get sketchbox let me know in a comment down below if you don't that's great too <laughs> Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. This unboxing was really fun for me. It was probably one of the more fun ones I've done recently. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. So I don't have much else to say. I guess I can plug some stuff. Uh, if you're interested in joining my Patreon, I have a card on the screen, link in the description. This will be a featured print of the month. Um, and I'm also doing a sticker sheets and all that other fun stuff. If you want to check it out, again, there will be links and you can go check it out. If you can't afford to support me, that's totally fine. You support me here by watching my videos, liking them, commenting, just interacting with me in general. So, all right, here's a look at the final piece. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you aren't already following me on social media, I'm actually posting now, so you can follow me over there. Um, and yeah, if you're not already part of our cute squid pod, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Have a squidoodly awesome day, and until next time, toodaloo!